Yo! Me too! Guys and ghouls! Hey, all you cool guys and ghouls! Oh, yes! <laughs> We're here! No! <laughs> oh! Crack <laughs> to <laughs> <laughs> It is week two. Number two. We'll be doing the dining room. And we are so excited about this, as yes. we are with every week. So we're gonna get into it. Very creepy vibes, get as in usual. It. Cause we're in it to win it. Yo, yo, yo. Win a bread. We are so lame. <laughs> Let's just get into it. All right. Project of week two is going to be Dead. some pretty ghoulish. We actually have this from last year. I have two. And um, aren't they just so cool? Like spooky. No. How can we reuse this? We're going to use it as the base of a centerpiece mm -hmm. for our table. And we have two. So what yes. do we get? Um, so we have the foam circles from Dollar Tree. I wish we would have bought them at Dollar Tree. Oh, that's right. We bought them at Michael's. We went to yeah. Michael's first. Big mistake. Both Dollar Tree had them. Plop. Okay. Right in there. Boom. Um, then at Michael's, we also got these wood sticks. They came in like a bundle, like wrapped together. We spray painted them gold. And we're trying to keep with the same color scheme. Obviously, my front door is pink, which you guys can see right like it there. <laughs> um, so we wanted to do something that kind of brought the pink in, made it creepy, but still, you know, went with the front and essentially with everything else we're doing in the house, which is witchy vibes. So we got these black flowers. Were these on sale? Um, there were, they were, there was a 40% for 40% off fall and 80% off spring, but we just couldn't hack anything for spring for this. We tried, we thought about it, but we, no. if you did, we want to hear about it in the comments. But when so, buying anything for a flower arrangement, you don't want to just look at the bouquet as only the bouquet. You can deconstruct this so that way you can add it sorry. as, yeah, you almost... I almost took your face off. I know, you already elbowed me in the eye. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a mistake. Anyways, cutting the bouquets definitely stretches out your flowers and into your arrangements. And it gives you more flexibility because maybe you want them, you know, spaced out throughout the arrangement, not all bundled together. Mm -hmm. Aside from these black ones, we, we got, these black ones are actually, um, they're the first one we got, but um, the true focal point and star is going to be these gorgeous black dahlias. dahlias which yes these are fake but if they're gonna be on my table for two months best believe they're gonna be fake <laughs> schemes you do or what materials you might use right and we did revolve a lot of the color scheme from the pink door so that's mm -hmm. why we chose like purples and burgundies mm -hmm. you know and lots of black okay. 
So we're going to get the second one done and Move a few on. other projects and then we will put it all together. Yes, we will. To bring the full space to life and carry the tabletop design upwards, I decided to decorate my lighting. We picked up some vines from the Dollar Tree and gave them a light misting of black spray paint to darken them up a bit. Once they dried, I just intertwined them in my chandeliers and added some spiders. This took me all of two seconds and cost me about $4, so it was definitely worth it and it completely finished the look. So we decided to spray paint some upcycled wine bottles. This is a very cheap and easy candelabra to have and it's a great time drinking all that wine. You want to put all of these together so you kind of get that excess from the peripheral spray. And since we're going to be dripping on the top, <laughs> It's important to get that bottom. Now all that's left is to pick the candle of your color choice, light them, let them melt down, and the effect will be more dramatic over time. Now that all our DIYs are ready to go, it's time to put together this amazing tablescape. We started by placing our centerpieces and our wine bottles and then used leftover moss to fill in the space in between them. We scattered critters and bones throughout the moss to amp up the creepiness and our final touch was these purple twinkle lights that we got at Dollar Tree, which added a very nice and eerie glow. For the bats, we were able to find a template online that was compatible with our Cricut machine and was able to cut them out. However, it's a popular trend this year, so they're easily available on Amazon.com. For the 3D effect that you see, we folded the wings where they met the body and used heavy-duty double-sided tape to stick them to the wall. Thanks for sticking around with us through this video. We hope you found something that inspired you. Yes, and motivates you, you to... To go out and get some flowers for your dead bouquet, start lighting the candles so they drip. Recycle um, your wine bottles because look how bomb this looks. Hello. Um and you know Hit up the Dollar Tree, like exactly. things that need to be done. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All of that. But most importantly, stay ghoulish. And creeptastic. Ha <laughs> ha